Oh, welcome all. Now I am here to share something about uh, disease resistance and its types. First, first of all, we shall see what is mean by the term resistance. Resistance is nothing but the ability of the of a host plant to resist the establishment or growth of the pathogen. Uh, in us, in humans, when we are affected by a disease, uh, we may hear that uh, some are more resistant to the disease, or uh, some even may die to the disease. This is all based on our immune power. If you are having more immunity, uh, we are more resistant to the disease, and lesser the immunity, we are more susceptible to the disease. This is quite common in plants too. Uh, many of the plant pathogenic microorganisms are specific to certain host uh, plants. Thus, uh, the plant species and cultivars vary widely in showing their capacity or ability to resist the establishment of the disease. Uh, whenever the plant enters the host, it must overcome several barriers before establishing itself in the host. Those barriers include the cell wall or the cuticle, etc. Sometimes the host may react to the entrance of the pathogen, or it may alter the growth of the pathogen, and thus it effectively checks the establishment of the disease. Uh, thus, there is a great variation in the degree of resistance the host or the plant exhibits. This is all based on several other factors, which involves uh, the host, the pa pathogen, and the environment, which in a single term we refer to as epidemiology. The relationship between the pathogen and the plant, the plant and the environment. Uh, most of the plant pathologists uh, link uh, these three factors you know into a single term as a disease triangle and when we include time in this it becomes a pyramid and that is the actual period of time where where the disease occurs in the plant or field now we shall discuss some terms related to disease resistance uh, first of all disease escape disease escape is nothing but uh, even though the plant or the host is uh, genetically susceptible to the disease it may show some resistance uh, when it is shown in the field it shows some resistance in field conditions. It happens when the optimum conditions for the disease development may not be present or even when the plant is not in the proper growth of stage where the pathogen is most, most active and this condition occurs when uh, the, the plant just escapes the disease. And the next term is disease endurance. Uh, endurance in the sense tolerance. Uh, it happens when in some cases the plant is able to carry out most of its uh, metabolic activities even though when it's affected by a disease uh, without reducing its yield to a considerable extent. To be noted down here is to a considerable extent. It cannot tolerate in through its whole life cycle. It can tolerate the effect of uh, the pathogen to a considerable ex extent. As we in humans, uh, we are uh, able to tolerate the uh, uh, pathogen we are able to tolerate the effect of disease to a considerable extent. When it is more virulent, we are affected uh, and we, we may even die to the disease. Likewise, the plants also can tolerate the effect of disease to a considerable extent. And the next term is hypersensitivity. Uh, in hypersensitivity, when a pathogen enters, the cells of the host plant uh, tries to limit the spread of the disease uh, by showing some death reaction of the cells. Or, or by forming several other barriers. Uh, the plant is said to be resistant to the disease when it is hypersensitive to the pathogen. When, when the plant shows hypersensitive reaction to the pathogen, it is said to be resistant against the disease. Uh, now we shall discuss something about uh, types of resistance. Uh, first of all, we should know that uh, resistance is uh, also a genetically controlled character. Thus, a gene contains two alleles, a dominant allele and recessive allele. Uh, we, we know that uh, dominant allele is expressed in the F1 generation and uh, this is uh, this plays a major role in the expression of resistance to a disease. Uh, based on this, we classify uh, or the plant exhibits two types of resistance. Uh, one is monogenic resistance and the next one is polygenic resistance. By the term itself, we can describe it uh, monogenic resistance in the sense it is controlled by a single gene. Thus, it is though it is controlled by a single gene, it shows great variation it, or else it shows great resistance to a particular strain of a pathogen but it is susceptible to other races uh, it is it is more resistant to a particular strain of pathogen that is it is said to be monogenic resistance and the next one is polygenic resistance polygenic resistance is quite opposite to that it is controlled by many genes and the next uh, type is vertical and horizontal resistance uh, this concept was suggested by van der planck in 1968 uh, you may remember that uh, first I have mentioned the term epidemiology earlier. Uh, the father of epidemiology is Van der Planck who suggested the interrelation, interrelationship between 
the host the uh, pathogen and the environment uh, he he suggested that um, vertical the resistance is said to be vertical when when it is effective against uh, some races of a pathogen but it is susceptible to other races of pathogen it is quite similar to monogenic resistance yeah. the resistance is said to be vertical when it is uh, effective against uh, some races of pathogen but it is uh, but it is susceptible to many other pathogens thus by this we can say that um, uh, vertical resistance is complete but it is not permanent in nature opposite to this is horizontal resistance horizontal resistance is effective against all all other pathogens but it is uh, not complete though it is not complete it is permanent in nature in the plants thus uh, by this we can conclude that uh, resistance is mostly a genetically controlled character but environmental conditions and climatic factors play a major role uh, in deciding the resistance of plant to a disease uh, all these studies were based on based on several other research works made by or put forwarded by many other plant pathologists or scientists a good example for this is uh, gene for gene hypothesis which was put forwarded by h h floor while he was studying the disease of flax rust he he played a major role in studying the disease resistance in plants uh, hope whomever watching this video have spent their valuable time in acquiring some good information and in this video we have saw about uh, we saw about um, disease resistance and its and the type of disease resistance hope you all understood thank you